Hi guys, this is not my usual type of videos, but unfortunately at the moment I don't have uh, time to sit down and record an actual video. However, I just wanted to quickly get this done. At first I didn't really want to do it at all, but then I changed my mind because I think that this is the right thing to do. I do apologize for the microphone quality. At the moment I'm using the computer's microphone, so I am so sorry about that. Okay. So let's get started. I uh, initially, you know me, I'm not doing this kind of videos, but today's video is going to be my reaction to a news article I recently read online. And I'm going to share my screen with you. I will read the article and let you know, of course, what I think. Okay, so for today's video, we are going on pinknews.co.uk, which is the LGBTQ community news outlet online, I suppose, because most, all of the news on here are uh, around the, the LGBTQ community. Okay, so, I'm going to start with the title. A transgender four-year-old is transitioning before kindergarten. The title says everything, really, but I'm still going to read the article. A four-year-old trans kid is set to begin their transition in Australia. The unnamed youngster is set to transition before they have started kindergarten and has already started the process. According to reports, the child has the support of the New South Wales Education Department. They will be the youngest person to transition openly in Australia and will be settled in their new gender by the time they go to school next year. Despite the decision having been taken by the child's parents to respect the child's wishes to transition and the opinions of gender specialist medical professionals, some have suggested that the child is too young. Speaking to the mirror, Rose Cantal, clinical psychologist, said it was absolutely too early for the child to transition. Quote, I would be very hesitant and other psychologists would say the same. Everything is developmental at that age. End of quote, she told the Evening Standard. Despite minor hesitations by some trans advocates, many have said that children who experience gender dysphoria usually know themselves. Catherine McGregor, a trans rights activist, said, and I quote, in my experience, kids with strong cross-gender identification tend to get it right. End of quote. Speaking to The Telegraph, clinical psychologist Michael Carl Gregg said there is a clear difference between children who experiment with dressing up, for example, and those who experience gender dysphoria. He said there is a huge difference between dress-ups and the child believing with every fiber of their being they are in the wrong body. End of quote. The mother of... Uh, and then you will see, if you uh, visit this website, pinknews.co.uk, you will see that there are much more articles around children and transitioning. As for example, you can see here, the mother of a five-year-old trans girl in, taxa, in Texas is fighting for her daughter to have the right to be allowed to use a gender-appropriate bathroom. Another mother with a trans seven-year-old sent a brilliant message of self-acceptance, all these sort of things. Okay, so I finish with the article. I am going to give you my honest view and opinion on this. Without causing any harm to anyone without meaning to offend anyone whatsoever. I truly support um, bisexuals, gays, trans, those transgender people who go through a whole process uh, and surgery and years of changing because that is a painstaking process. I, I don't care about your sexual preferences, honestly. You can be uh, gay, you can be bi, you can be, you know, whatever you want to be. But, 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 there is a huge but here. Where do we cross the line? A transgender four-year-old is transitioning before kindergarten. How on earth is this possible? How is it possible that a four-year-old can transition medically? No, let's not touch the subject of morally, we'll get to that point a bit later, but medically. How is it possible? Scientifically, no, I'm not saying medically because medically everything is possible when you have surgery, but I'm saying scientifically, how is it possible for a four-year-old to transition? Oh, oh my God.
this uh, child will be the youngest person to transition openly in Australia and will be settled in their new gender by the time they go to school next year. Okay, first of all, one, you are stealing your child's whole childhood by doing these senseless, stupid, and morally wrong things to a four-year-old. Despite the decision having been taken by the child's parents to respect the child's wishes to transition, how on earth can you tell me, how on earth can you even tell me that a four-year-old who wishes to transition, as the parents say, know what they are talking about? Come on, people, have some brain, have some common sense here. I'm sorry, but whoever this child's parents are, in my honest opinion, they should be charged with child abuse. This right here, plain and simple, is child abuse. Child abuse. CPS should go to these people and take the child away. A four-year-old does not know what transitioning means. A four-year-old does not have the cognitive ability to understand what transitioning means. It's one thing dressing up in your mom's dresses and putting on some makeup just because you see your mom doing it and you think it's okay for you to do it and you do it, that doesn't mean you, are, you want to be a girl when you are a boy or you want to be a boy when you are a girl. At four years old, oh, that's bullshit. Fucking idiot. Oh my God, this is annoying me so bad because I have a five-year-old who started school and soon they'll be starting introducing all these stupid things into school and they will be influencing children who have no idea about all these things and who are not allowed to make their own decisions when it comes to gender preference and also their sexual orientation. Plain and simple. My 12-year-old is coming home to me and she's telling me that she's more confused than ever about all the talk about transgenderism, about... Um, all these uh, gender preferences, gender identities, what the hell is that? What do you mean by gender identity? You are either male or female, sorry. You are either male or female. Yes, there are some people who have a vagina and a penis as well, but that is called a genetic disorder. It's a genetic disorder. It's a disorder. It's not by any means a gender identity and why do you have to change the name to a different name to suit your gender identity agenda no it's completely wrong a four-year-old cannot possibly comprehend what fully transitioning means you cannot tell me that the brain of a four-year-old is developed enough for the four-year-old to understand the consequences and the seriousness of transgender, of transitioning from one sex to another. That's impossible unless that kid is Einstein. I'm sorry, but no. Whichever parent is saying otherwise, they are delusional. They are simply delusional. You know, the thing I want to transition, you as a parent, you just go ahead and say, okay, let's go and transition. What? Are you serious? You know, that's why I'm getting really heated up, because that, this is exactly the reason why I didn't even want to touch this subject. I didn't. But I couldn't help myself. Because this right here is legal child abuse. This is legal child abuse. Let's carry on with the article. The opinions of gender specialists, medical professionals, some have suggested that the child is too young. You're, you're bloody damn right that the child is too young. What can a four-year-old understand from this? What can, yes, it's true that sometimes, very rarely it happens that you have gender dysphoria, like uh, he mentions here in the article, but it's very rare that this actually happens. All the gender dysphoria that you, not all of it, but most of the gender dysphoria that you hear nowadays from everybody, it's because it's a trend. It's because TikTok made it uh, popular. It's because celebrities made it popular. It's because social media in general made it popular. All these things, all these gender uh, uh, identities are, made, are being made popular by social media and by celebrities. And if a celebrity says this, then, oh, yeah, this is the truth, if, even if it's not. 
Yes. Let's all become too scared to voice our own opinions just because a social media celebrity or a singer, a famous singer says, Oh, I identify like this. Yes. So it must be the truth. Okay, let's move on. Despite minor hesitations by some trans advocates, many have said that children who experience gender dysphoria usually know themselves. Yes, they might know themselves, but not at four years old. Not at six years old, not at seven years old, not at ten years old. Do you know why? Because at that age, four year old, they are, they are developing. Okay, six year old, they are growing. Seven year old, they are learning about, uh, you know, the life around them. Uh, suitable for their age. Ten-year-olds, they start getting changes. They start getting hormonal. They start getting ready to transition into adulthood. Like girls start growing their breasts, developing their body. Some of them, they do have their periods. Others, they get ready for their periods. Boys, uh, a similar process. You know how it goes. So, a ten-year-old, if a child is telling you, I'm transgender, I'm, I want to transition. It might just be a confusion from their part because they still don't understand themselves. Imagine being drowning in hormones and all the time from left to right, front, center, middle, back, social media, everywhere, you hear about this, you hear all about this gender identity. Of course a 10 year old will be curious to know what it is. And of course, if a 10 year old at that age doesn't like boys or doesn't like girls, they'll come out, as they say, as non binary. Why? Because they don't like girls or boys at 10 years old because they are just confused kids who are just now learning about their own bodies. So you can't tell me a 10 year old, a kid, is mature enough to fully understand transitioning. No. That's impossible. And again, I'm telling you, if you are that parent who disagrees with me, then I'm sorry, but you are delusional. <sighs> Catherine McGregor, a trans rights activist, said, In my experience, kids with strong cross-gender identification tend to get it right. Okay, Catherine, I have no idea who you are, okay? One. Second, in your experience, what experience with how many kids, may I ask, with strong cross-gender identification, they tend to get it right. How do you know how many kids get it right? How do you know? Yes, you said in your experience, but in your experience of how many kids? Ten kids, ten of those, maybe half of them have parents who are um, transgender or non-binary who are influenced by their parents' lifestyle, and not only lifestyle, but the parents' own belief is being pushed on their own kids without allowing the kids to fully decide for themselves. It's called parental influence. So, again, speaking to the Telegraph, clinical psychologist Michael Carr Gregg said there is a clear difference between children who experiment with dressing up, for example, and those who experience gender dysphoria. He said there is a huge difference between dress-ups and the child believing with every fiber of their being they are in the wrong body. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. You are probably get, uh, getting... Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you. You are probably getting so much hate right now and probably I'll be getting as much hate as you are. I completely, fully, a hundred, a thousand percent agree with what you said. There is a clear difference. A clear difference. Like I said, kids will experiment with dressing up or, you know, using their mom's makeup or like my five-year-old does, using his sister's headband for his head because he sees his sister wearing the headband, so he wants to uh, wear the headband. That's a completely different thing to a five-year-old wanting to be a girl. Yes, they may want to do girly things because they see it and they want to experience it and they want to... They are curious, they want to know what it is, but that does not mean that this will be their gender identity or it doesn't mean that they will want to fully transition or transition at all. You know, if you disagree with me, I couldn't care less. This is my opinion, my strong opinion is my voice and I'm going to say it and I'm going to speak it and I'm going to voice it, okay? 
If you don't believe it, just Google. Go there on the old, really great Google and search for how many kids who transitioned when they were under age, how many of them actually changed their mind later on. How many kids who say that they are not what their sex is become adults and they go back to being what their actual sex is? How many kids have, for example, sued the NHS because the NHS approved their transgender surgeries when they were a kid with their parents' consent and now as adults they are suing the NHS because they were kids, they were underage, they did not think clearly, they were not explained everything fully. This is the real world that we live in. This is not the world that you only see TV, that you read in the media, that you see on social media. This on social media and on telly and in the media in general is just a brainwashing, brainwashing. Because in one or three years, even women will lose their rights as a woman because now we won't have breastfeeding. Now we will have chest feeding. Like women's breasts were not made to feed a baby. No, chests were made to feed the baby. No, because if we say breastfeeding is going to be, um, it's going to be what? Discriminatory or what is going to be to uh, a person who doesn't identify as a woman or whatever the news is? Yes. No, it's not going to be offensive to women. It's going to be offensive to the other sex, which is not woman, because in the end, the woman is the one breastfeeding. So no, I will uh, refuse with all my being to refer to a breastfeeding woman as a chest feeding person because no, it's not a chest feeding person, it's a breastfeeding woman. Thank you so much science, thank you so much the medical field, thank you so much logic. Yes, believing you are in the wrong body. Well, when, uh, when I was a kid, when I was 10 years old, I said, oh my god, I don't want to be a girl, I want to be a boy. What am I now? I am a woman and I want to stay a woman. When you are 10 and you say that you don't want to be the sex you are, it's because at that point you are still confused. It's because at that point probably you don't like anything because that's your age. Girls don't like to be girls because they have periods, periods are painful, their boobies are growing, boys are picking on them, you know, all the teenagers, you know, all these kind of things. That doesn't mean that that girl is not, one, is not going to want to be a woman when she grows up. It doesn't mean that. And for you as a parent to just take at heart what your kid says without explaining everything properly, then you are a wrong parent. I am sorry, but your parenting is not okay. My kid came to me when she was, she's now 12. She came to me when she was 10 years old and she said, I like girls, I'm a lesbian. And I said, okay, before you make up your mind completely, just wait a year, two or three, and then make the decision. And I left it at that. My child, the same girl who, when she was 10, told me that uh, she likes girl and she's a lesbian, she's now 12, and she told me that she likes boys and she's straight. And why did she tell me when she was 10 that she was a lesbian? Because another girl from her class told her that she's a lesbian and she likes my daughter. And her mom fully supported her. And so that girl said that she's a lesbian and she likes my daughter. And guess what? My daughter came home like that, saying that she's a lesbian because she likes the other girl back. And guess what? The other girl is not a les lesbian either. There you go. A fine example. A fine example. So, and my last thing that I want to say, I know that, uh, I know that the surgery, uh, transitioning surgery, they cost money and uh, so many things and so on. They cost a lot of money. And surgeons, they usually do it for money. However, from my point of view, not only should it be ethically wrong to perform surgery on kids under, under, under age, under 18, under 10, under, for this matter, four year olds, not only is it ethically wrong and it should, made, it should be put in law, but also it should be, if anything, if not illegal, it should be immoral. That surgeon, uh, I don't know. I don't know, but some people are so greedy when it comes to money and paying big money that they don't do money anymore. But that surgeon, shame on those surgeons who do these kinds of, of surgeries for kids who have no idea what they want. Shame on them all. 
And also, from my point of view, I think I, if I would be a surgeon, I would do this. If you, as a parent, come to my office with your six-year-old kid and you tell me that you want your kid to have a transitioning surgery because they said that, you know, they are not boys, but they, they are boys, but they want to be girls or uh, vice versa or whichever it is. And let's do the surgery. As a surgeon, I would call child protective services because this is plain and simple child abuse. It's child abuse. You will forever be child abuse. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and stay safe. Bye.